In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a uh, video from YouTube and convert it into just an MP3 file or a sound using the Capwig converter. So first I'm going to find or search for the song I want. Once I find the song I want, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to be in this view. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the song and I'm going to find the part I want to take. Now, if I want to take the whole thing, that's okay too. But I'm actually going to just steal part of it. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to steal the part where Kermit says it's not easy being green, which I think starts right about here. Something much more about. No, uh, how about like right here? Yep, right there. So like 33. See? Till about 36 there. So I just want to steal that little part of it right there. And I'm just getting the number in my head because uh, I want it from about 35 to 36. Um, and I'm going to now take the link. I'm going to give that to my video converter. So the link is right here. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to copy it. I, I did a, uh, a right click, copy. You can also use Control C and then Control V, but I'm going to use a right click paste just so it's easier to see what I'm doing. And then it's going to put it into this screen here where now the whole video is, is uploading from YouTube into the Capwig editor. And I'm going to move the play header to about that 34 where that it's not easy being green started. So I'm going to move it there and I'm going to play it. Being green. I'm going to move it a little bit more. And I can see with the little sound, I think it might start right about there, just looking at the wave uh, of the song. When I think it might. Oops, right there. It's not easy. Being green. And stop. So that's the, I want to get it to stop there. And I want to get it starting there. It's not. Perfect. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go like this just to put it there. Now, this is the only part of the video I want. I do not want this part of the video. So something kind of tricky that I have to do. See how this part of the video um, is still going to be there? I have to delete it. Now I can hit the delete key or I can hit delete here. And now it's going to slide all the way over. So the video I'm saving is here. And then there is no part here. So because there's nothing here, I don't have to worry about cutting it. So this is the only part I'm going to have, and it's going to be about four seconds. So when I export it, I'm going to make, want to make sure it's only four seconds. Just going to test it one more time. It's not easy being green. It's not easy being green. That's exactly what I want. So now I'm going to go to this export video, and I'm going to click on the little down arrow, and I'm going to say, hey, export this as an MP3. It's kind of interesting. You could make it a GIF. You could make it even another video, which is MP4, but I'm going to e export as an MP3, which is a sound file. When I click on that, I'm going to say export sound, and then this little exporter is going to start to do its business. The longer the video, or the longer the sound, or the more complicated, the longer it's going to take. This is a pretty simple project. Now, then you know you're done. And notice it's just four seconds. A common bug uh, that people have is it's really long and they forgot to delete the beginning part of the song that they don't want in there anymore. And they forgot to delete the top section so it plays a bunch of blank until it, it gets to the part you want. So just be aware of that and make sure you fix that. Now I'm going to hit the download button. It's going to download and here is my file. My file is now wherever I want to put it. If I want to make sure it goes to the desktop, I can, um, I can make sure I navigate and put it in the spot that I want it. That's how you export a video from YouTube to a file, like an MP3 file, that you can use in your projects. Good luck!